So good morning, guys. Uh, in this session, we are going to create a small application by using Ajax that is nothing but display cricket score. Without refreshing, without reloading, I want to display cricket score on the page. For this, we are not using any database level and all, guys. Just I will go for a small text file. In the text file, I will keep some uh, score information. Whatever the file, whatever the data I am changing in that file, the text file, the data should be updated into the front end. This is what we are going to see. In the previous class, we discussed how to send a request to server, how to handle the response, which is coming from the server. This is what we see. Now in this, we are going to see this example. Okay. So first of all, let us uh, create Ajax object to send a request to handle the response. Let's take a variable where. Let us write a condition for checking browser support. XML HTTP request. If browser supports this, we will create this object. Otherwise, we will create this object. Already we written the same code in the earlier session. Now the same we are writing again. So here we have to create an object obj equal to new this is for activex object if browser does not support xml http request object then we will create this object http yes object is created and here you have to create xml http request object xml http request object is created now we need to send a request to server so to do this uh, now send request to server obj dot open and obj dot send so in this open method, we have to pass the connection information. So I want to get data from the server and the file. Let me create a file called score.txt for a while. So, and the request is asynchronous request. So definitely in this situation, we need asynchronous request. Why? Because we no need to wait for the response. We have to get the data from server, right? So that's why I'm using asynchronous request here, right? So by using these two, what is going to happen guys? Definitely, uh, we can establish a connection with the server. That connection information we can send it to server. So first of all, what is the file? Ajax 2html Let me run the file and let us check what is the output we are getting. Ajax 2html Let me run it. So let us go for F12. We may have some error. I am thinking, what is the error? You know, can you see file XML HTTP request? Please use new operator. Something wrong, guys. Maybe while object creation yes here we have to use new operator right so new operator i mean nothing but if you want to access ajax properties and methods you have to create an object but earlier we didn't do there, there is a reason maybe we have error okay let me check it let me, let me refresh the page now you have an error what is the error you have it is looking for a file this ajax file is looking for a file called score.txt but this file was not available on our server. So let me create a text file called score.txt. This file we are going to create now. So go and create a file score.txt. Save the file in the same location. Where is your Ajax file? And my file is also going to be in the same location. And let me write something here. Uh, let me take some H2. Let me write some static data here, guys. Okay. Uh, let us go with something called uh, BATTING batting. So don't worry later if you want you can design more uh, i want to take a paragraph tag uh, let me add uh, one batsman name here bold and uh, let us take something called bold guys i'm writing some static text guys it's all about static text actually we need to get this information from database okay don't bother about database we are not the persons to work with database and let us get the static data let, it, let me keep the static data the intention is here without refreshing without loading how we are getting the text file data into the front end right so let us go with the let me give some score here 25 of uh, 20 balls let me write one more and you can write something of 30 of uh, 20 of 
25 whatever it may be you can take anything okay this is the text file data later we can change it first let me work with ajax call right if ajax call is working and we can make more information here in this file guys right first of all go here and we are able to earlier we have a error guys score.txt was not available now you can refresh the page if you can refresh there is no error the score.txt file was found can you see it is having status 200 so that's 200 is saying that so the file was available now click on the score.txt and if you can click on it are you able to see the response of the file yes we are able to see the response of the file now we need to read this response and we have to display on our screen guys so to do this i just add a do element here score and to do this i need to bind the response so how to handle the response then so now i need to handle the response handle the response so here obj dot on ready state change equal to fire a function so this function is important callback function we are writing simply this function will handle sir, the everything guys yeah, sir so callback function in this function we will handle the response to handle the response we need to write the condition what is the condition how when do uh, how do we know response is ready we have a property called ready state is a property if you if you get the ready state value 4 then i can understand response is ready so obj dot and status this is also 200 equal to equal to 200 you are getting the status here can you able to see the status i am getting here so in the network when i'm refreshing the page you are getting the status i believe so i think so i i have to change the file right okay so you are getting the file right one minute let me remove this and let me check it so if the file found oh this is 304 what is the meaning of 304 here not modified huh? okay anyhow uh let me complete the request first of all i will show you the status 200 value where we can find the status 200 value and all right yes guys this is the file now we need to handle the response right so alert response text i need to get it now so let us get this obj dot response text R -E -S -P -O -N -S -E, response text is the property predefined property this is also let me check it if i submit this what are you getting here you are getting the value here and moreover you can click on it and we're getting something guys why this is 304 i'm getting need to check it guys okay now can you see now you are getting 200 okay okay means the request process is successfully this 200 we are checking what is the uh, heading guys status the status value we are getting here what is the status value 200 equal to equal to 200 if obj dot status value is 200 equal to equal to 200 then it is done successfully okay what is the meaning of this uh, thing guys 200 okay is there now that is called status text right so this is the response we are getting guys in the alert that response we need to bind to the particular div right so particular div we need to bind it right so what is the div this is the div called score and this response should be handled guys document dot get element by id what is the id we have there id is score dot inner html is a property inner html equal to just we are appending that data obj dot response text to this property guys that's it now check it carefully if i refresh what is going to happen the data was appended on the screen guys can you see the batting what is the file you have you have the file called ajax html it is getting the data from the text file okay now let me go to the, my editor let me change the data in the all right so i'm just going to change my file data guys here can you see this is the my file here just let me change my score file i'm not uh, refreshing the browser right just you can check it i'm going to update the data guys let us make this as a 45 and this is make this as i'm making this as a 30 run 30 balls or uh, let us make this as a uh, 42 and let us make this as a 40 ball something like this i saved the file i if i save the score.txt the browser should update automatically you cannot refresh the page now you can see i'm refreshing the page then only the score is updating what is our duty here without refreshing without reloading we need to update the browser window now so but you you saved the file in the text you saved the score in the text file and you are going to uh, refresh the browser it is not correct guys what is your intention here without refreshing without reloading we need to get the data anyhow we are able to get the data from the server but are you 
refreshing or not you are refreshing the browser right without doing this let me do one thing guys what i need to do this auto or the code we written let me keep this code into a function guys let me create a function here function display dis PLA, right? display score you can create one function guys you can do any function no problem display score is a function let me keep whatever the ajax code you written everything i'm keeping inside of the function guys display score now i need to call this function for every some particular period of time so then only you will get the updated data so that won't uh, call automatically guys by writing ajax call it will never get the updated data automatically what what is this function now you can refresh if you can refresh we can't get anything why because you didn't call the function right call the function first of all i'm just calling the function oh, sorry so what is the function we have display score is the function just function created i'm calling the function because without calling function we cannot get any output now i'm getting the data because you call the function now what i want to do you know i want to call this function for every 10 seconds for every five seconds how can we call a function for every 10 seconds and five seconds we already have a uh, we already seen uh, javascript timing functions guys in window object what is the timing function set interval and clear interval now i want to create this form i want to call this function for every 10 seconds for every 5 seconds so if i see what this function is doing this function is uh, calling a file data dot txt and in this data dot txt it is it is reading the data after reading the data it is appending to our window now what i am doing here so i want to call this function for every 10 seconds for every 10 seconds what this function will do it will go to the text file it will read the data it will append on the screen so this is going to be a repeated task whatever the updated data in the text file that will be appended on our screen guys let me call this function for every 10 seconds or 5 seconds whatever it may be we have a thing called set interval if you want you can clear interval also let us go with var i or something x equal to whatever it may be variable also not required here actually but set intr interval i capital here right we already know in this what is the function you want to call display score uh, what is the interval so you want to call for every one second huh? no i want to call this for every five seconds guys five seconds or ten seconds whatever the time you want you can set it guys no you can check it guys carefully what is going to happen this function go is going to be called for every five seconds right now you can check it every five seconds it will call the score.txt if you have any updated score the score will come to the front end it will display on the screen guys can you see now i'm refreshing the screen so now we didn't change the file guys let us go to the editor guys i'm just going with the editor can you see this is the editor and uh, uh, if you have any confusion this is the browser and let me do a browser window separately let me do my window separately this is the window separate this window separate guys there is no relation with that window and this window now i am going to change this as a 55 runs and uh, let me uh, go and uh, change this as a 65 balls let me save this as a uh, 50 runs and with uh, some 55 balls something like i didn't save the file guys right so but the score is not updated on the screen because if you have to save the file first of all let me save the text file can you see i'm not refreshing the browser guys can you check it is the score is updating on the screen yes score is updated can you see what is the score i didn't refresh the browser my see my mouse point is still in the text file so the score was updated here 55 and 60 now i want to add something guys here let us go with something called h3 and h3 let us have something called bowling b o w l i n g bowling let me add one bowler name here uh take a paragraph tag here the bowler name is something i'm taking lee or whatever it may be uh let me add five overs zero maidens 25 runs and zero wickets something like i added right so but is that browser is displaying to you anything guys this is my browser window but i didn't save the file text file save the text file i'm saving the text file uh can you observe your browser window now i'm not refreshing the browser window is the score is updating automatically yes the score is updated automatically i'm not refreshing the page but that was updated automatically now i'm changing the wickets as a, a 25 of one save the file 
is it updated? Yes, it is updated immediately. I'm making this as a two and save the text file. So the browser is updating automatically. I'm not refreshing the page at all, guys. Right? So this is how the Ajax call is going to be worked always. Check it, guys, carefully. Right? So how the Ajax cricket score application actually, uh, we are using a text file actually. We have to get the data from database. Actually, we don't know how to work with the database. That's the reason I use a simple text file and I'm trying to read the data from the text file. This is how the credit score application will work without refreshing, without reloading a page. Generally, you can go over, you can go for espncricketinfo.com. We can, we, we can open a match. So we no need to refresh the page and reload the page. The score is going to be updated automatically. No? So are we refreshing anything? No, we are not at all refreshing anything, right? This is how the Ajax call is going to work, guys. But one thing, remember, if you want to work with Ajax, we need HTTP protocol. If you are simply running from your local server, it won't work, guys, right? So this is how the Ajax will work. So how to send a request, how to handle a response by using Ajax properties and Ajax methods we seen, guys. In tomorrow's session, we can discuss with uh, some other examples which are going to work with Ajax. Yes, thank you, guys.